Hey guys, this is a video on how to import uh, Dreamcast save files into Null DC, Dreamcast emulator. Uh, the first thing you'll need to have is a virtual memory card, which I don't have right now, so I'm going to show you how to make one. First thing you want to do is open Null DC and hit File, Normal Boot, and No Disk. Once you're in here, you're going to select File and you'll see this big red X on your memory card. Uh, select it and select delete all memory reset and hit yes. And you can just select here, it doesn't really matter. Deleting, excellent. And now you can close this. And now you'll see I have a file here called VMU data port 01, that's my memory card. Uh, the second thing you'll need is a file called VMU viewer something like that uh, you can download that if you go to emu paradise.me on the left side here emulators and scroll down to sega dreamcast windows and you want this top one right here chancast so i'm going to download it open it up select chancast alpha again Thank you, WinRare. Chancast Alpha. And right here, VMS Browser. You just want to drop that into the null DC folder. And you can close this. Uh, next thing you need is a save file. I get mine from this website here, which is bswirl.kitsunet.org. Uh, you just hit VMU Saves on the left here. And I'm doing it from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So what you want to do is hit this little drop down box and select DCI file. It should automatically download. Then I'm going to open that up in the browser here and change this. I'm just going to rename it. You don't have to, but Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I will drop this file into null DC folder. Close this. Uh, next, what you want to do is rename VMU data port one. So what I do is highlight it, copy it first, because you're gonna have to change it back and just rename it to VMS. And open VMS browser, and it should show up here on the left. Uh, then hit import save file on the right, and we're gonna import right here, Marvel vs. Capcom 2.dci. It should show up right there. Just hit close out and yes, save. Now you want to rename this back to VMU data port one. Uh, open up null DLC, null DC, normal boot. And I have my game already selected here. I'm going to open it. Now I should have all the characters. And there they are. So this method works uh, the same way with any other game like Street Fighter or Sonic. You just download the save file and import it with the VMS browser. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys.